All right, so it is third full day of Vegas and it's our last day sleeping in Mandalay Bay. So we're on the Starbucks run. It's five o'clock in the morning. So we actually had a lie in today. It's late. It's late, yes. It's late. <laughs> so normally we're downstairs at four. So it's pretty good. So we're gonna walk over to Luxor to grab coffee because the Starbucks is not open here. We just tried a 10 grand max thingy but didn't get it, obviously. These, although they're very comfortable ones, they're hurting. Yeah. Ouch. But, uh, uh, I guess because you're wearing them all day. Let's turn that down a bit, that's a bit loud. Morning coffee run, uh, back in Luxor again. The balloon up there started at 50, so it's gone up quite a lot in a short space. Doing well, 150. out. Sorry, hundred dollar win. So put us on. Okay, one fifteen. And uh, good morning again from. Oh, I've just walked into a lamp. That's a good start. Uh, from the sixtieth floor of Mandalay Bay, and another beautiful morning it is. Um, Realised I hadn't actually shown you the room and we are checking out of here today. So before we move over to uh, MGM. So I'll show you, quickly show you around the room. I'll just do a quick video tour. Uh, if you want a more in depth one, I'll do a separate video for that on YouTube. But this is the main uh, living area. So you come in the front door, you've got plenty of seating advertises. You can have a party up to 10 people in here. So we didn't. Um, <laughs> it's got a separate kitchen area. Here, this is a f uh, called a penthouse sky view suite. 
uh, come in here. We are just down towards the end. So I think it's that room because it's not that small. Um, you have a separate toilet to the side there and a little wet bar. And you get a fridge actually for your own stuff, which is good. Very not, easy, not the easiest thing to get in Magus. Uh, and then mini bar in one of these ones, which hasn't got a handle on and all the usual malarkey in there. And of course, uh, anything you move, you get charged. So just keep that in mind. Prices are of course extortionate, but to be fair, pretty uh, on par with most of the bars around here now. So if you, you know, if you really want it, pay for it. Um, and the main bedroom, sorry, as I said, it's, I forgot to do the video, so let's try to remake it for you. But uh, this is the bedroom, a uh, nice work desk and a lovely big bathroom which has your soaking tub, shower and dual vanity area. Um, something for some reason they're not doing is giving you shower gels and I don't know why. Uh, I thought it was just here and I left a note for the for housekeeping. Oh, sorry, just the other toilet's in there. Left a note for housekeeping every day uh, along with a tip saying please apply so more soaps and shower gels. Uh, we had one bath soap for the whole room when we when we got in here for both toilets we had to just <laughs> carry it through. Um, <clears throat> for some reason they just weren't giving it and then on yesterday they gave us one bottle of shower gel and it does say on uh, some material somewhere if you need towels refreshing or shower gels to contact housekeeping so but they, they didn't seem to supply them. Um, but they do, there is a daily maid service, so at least that is, that is back. I know that stopped for a while. In, you had to request it, and it is now back as, as normal in that respect. And I did see this on the TV. If you do need a uh, COVID test to get back home, wherever you're from, they do provide in-room COVID testing. So just feel free to pause and read that. Uh, but luckily, the UK have now scrapped that, so we should be uh, good to go. So yeah, there we go. I'm gonna go meet Matt downstairs and make our way to MGM, which we've already checked in um, yesterday. So we can just take our bags straight up to the room because it is about half seven in the morning. I just need to wait till eight o'clock. So I wanna see if uh, the, M, the resort will take any of our charges off the room. But yeah, 60th floor, let me just get, try and get my reflection out. 60th floor. Long, long way down. But it is a great view. Just slightly, just where the sun's only coming up, sorry, it's really hard to see, but you do get absolute gorgeous sunset every every morning. A sunset, sunrise every morning. Yeah, there we go. On a machine with a spin. What denomination what are we playing? 25 cents, okay. Oh, that's flashy. Congratulations! All I can see in the background spinning around is the Mega Bucks jackpot. Eleven point four million. That'd be nice on a slot. Crazy. That's a lot of a. Uh, that'll be a big ticket coming out. <laughs> Early alert, alert system has been activated at Mandalay Bay. We don't know why, but no one seems to care. So. So we've checked out of Mandalay and just making our way onto MGM. Really good, so we, st we had the um, Penthouse Skyview Suite, which they comped us, we didn't pay for that. And then on checkout, they took off all of our food as well uh, that we put to the room. So our grand total for three nights here was $21. It was pretty good going. 
Um, so, winner there. So yeah, head to MGM now. Just come out of Mandalay Bay and I've just seen some guy abseiling down. There he is, in front of the building. You've got to have balls of steel for that. No, thank you. at the MGM Grand and we are in a standard king in the Staywell floor. So Staywell King, a little smaller than what we just had, but uh, it's perfectly fine in here. So there's the bed area, a couple of chairs, a desk. This is one of the extra things you get in the Staywell, just gives off a scent into the room. A fridge there. TV, media connection, and a air purifier. And it sounds loud, but we've got it on maximum turbo just to give an idea of how loud the... it's, it's not too bad as soon as you walk away from it. Your wardrobe area space or closet, and single vanity bathroom toilet and your shower and again part of the stay well it has this vitamin c thing on it which blasts you with water and there's also one for the sink there that filtration system but we just had to spend about 20 minutes pouring the water out because it came out it's coming out milky so i don't think it's been used for a while uh, so i had to clear that through before we can use it but yeah there we go short and sweet uh, this is home now for the next two nights on the 15th floor, room 15424, and sort of facing down the strip. And that's the view we have. You can just see the, um, I forget the name of the building now, I was just talking about it, but being constructed there, the sphere. And that side there, got the mansion, MGM mansion down there in the foreground, and then the strip buildings in the background. Okay, it's just realising we've not had breakfast yet. We both say how hungry we were. So we've come to the MGM food court just for something quick. Matt's hoping for a Pan-Asian for an Oriental breakfast. Although I may just go for a Johnny Rockets, see what they've got going. Pan-Asian is open. It's an omelette station in the morning. There you go. So breakfast in the food court. I think I misjudged how big this was gonna be. Two big pancakes, biscuit, egg sausage, tater tots, versus Matt's little muffin. <laughs> I think you can help me with this. Yeah, he looks happy. <laughs> Okie doke, it's Matt today. We just got the monorail down to uh, Westgate like so and because we're going to walk over to Resorts World so we're going to find out how long it actually takes Genting, nothing really to report. I've got the card, had the status match. I don't really know what I get with it. I don't know what it means. And now we've just walked next door to Circus Circus just to grab an Uber because we know where the pickup point is here to head downtown. So just come uh, downtown. I 
just going to check out the Circa, the newest uh, casino down here for I think 40 odd years. So across the bridge, just going to go into Circa. The last time we were here we didn't come downtown so we've not been here for a good two and a half years. So the classic Vegas. So second, second new resort we've checked out then, Circa. Only just walked in so uh, not gone around everywhere yet but first impressions I prefer it to Resorts Road I think sorry Matthew signaling something to me uh, downstairs is the area if you want to get a card oh okay yeah we'll need to go and get a card so this is their impressive sports book down there. Yeah, it's got a better feel to Genting. Ah, there she is. Classic Vegas Vicky. Restored in all her might from Fremont Street where she used to sit opposite Vegas Vicky. Uh, which used to be on where this building is. She used to be on the outside on Fremont Street and now she's been restored lovingly and put in the inside of this building as homage. Her leg flicks up and down while Vegas Vic outside, his arm goes up and down. Okay, super loud in here but at the mega bar now it's just a little bar going all the way down. <laughs> and I think it wraps around outside as well. Because there's the entrance to the outside there. And I think it's the same on the other side. Okay, we'll have a proper look in there again in a minute. We're just coming out to grab a drink because uh, that bar was, despite how long it was, it's quite busy. But here we are now on classic Fremont Street. Original Vegas, completely touristy now, thank goodness, otherwise it'll be uh, the gangs of Vegas running it still. <laughs> that's where we are for dinner tonight, over at the plaza at the end. And you've got old Vegas Vic up there, looking like he needs a bit of TLC. We've got Binions on the left, Golden Nugget on the right, and a new Circa. Just popped out to get a small can of hard iced tea, half and half. Half iced tea and half lemonade. 5%, which isn't too bad actually. That's why that was going to make me a bit <laughs> ill. <laughs> it's lovely though. I should say, if you have it, M Life Gold tier match uh, gets you Maverick at uh, Circa. First bonus in Circa. Got 14 free spins, double luxury zone. No idea what that means. Oh, okay. Yes, okay.
So we're in Circa. Really nice in there. So on the corner of four classics, Fremont, Binions, Golden Nugget, and Four Queens. Which is heading down to uh, Pizza Rock now just for a slice of pizza before uh, it keeps going before dinner tonight back at Plaza down the other end. The screens on this thing are incredible for the distance they cover. And of course you've got the zip line, which uh, I have done. The higher one, the ones, uh, uh, Slotzilla, the, you've, got, you've got a lower one and a higher one. I mean, if you're gonna do it, you may just do the higher one, it makes no difference. You're still strapped in and going. So coming off Fremont, uh, Fremont Street by Fremont Casino and D, come down towards Ogden uh, to Pizza Rock and um, just opposite Grand and it's also where the Mob Museum is which we've not been to I don't know if we ever will get in there we keep it's one of those things we keep saying we will maybe not this trip for sure but for now we will be in Pizza Rock just to grab a quick snack and then head back down you want to go to Four, no, uh, is it four greens? Yeah. Okay, four greens. It's 21 degrees, which is pretty good for middle of Jan, Celsius, of course. If you take uh, your card from Circa, you can swipe it at Pizza Rock. As good as I remember. Look at that beautiful, thick, crusty bottom. <laughs> Sorry, so childish. It's three cheese. Uh, the sauce is dollop on top. Look at that. Gorgeous. Mm. I'm good after a couple of beers. And that hard tea. Couldn't finish that. It was actually too, uh, too sweet. Too much. I can feel the headache exploding if I finish that. But this makes up. Just popped into the Grand Downtown and just hit a $800 uh, win on Glinda the Good Witch on Wizard of Oz. Not bad for $40 investment. <laughs> All right, so just come into Golden Gate, which I think is one of the older ones downtown, I think. Just got some classic classic old slots here, how far they've come. <laughs> so good, good example behind it. Okay, so just come out of the Golden Gate and now we're going to go into the Plaza, which is also where we're going to be having dinner uh, tonight in Oscars, uh, located just under that dome which uh, was, used to be where the plaza pool was many years ago. So we're looking forward to, uh, to eating in there. Utter transformation at night.
Fremont Street back in the day uh, with the pool. We just had points points again. We just sat having dinner. Fortunately, there. Yeah. <laughs> back on the strip uh, from downtown after a very nice meal at uh, Oscars. Had a really good uh, taxi driver bringing us back. He was quizzing us and we got every question right about the history of Vegas so we were quite impressed. <laughs> but yeah, Oscars was a nice place, good food. Uh, it's quite relaxing there. We were a bit worried because we realised we hadn't really planned to come back and change so we just had jeans, trainers and t-shirt on from all day and it was fine, it's pretty easy going in there. A really nice view, good food, good service. Did you go back? Yeah. Yes, it's a nod. So now, rib cap, yeah we had rib cap, never had that before. It's like the end of a rib ribeye steak, so it's, nice. it's the taste and the flavour of a ribeye without the marbling. It's very good. But uh, yeah, now we're just sort of meandering back towards MGM now. We've been, just been in Park MGM. Which I still think it's funny they named it uh, so similar, but just been there and had uh, a little bit of luck. And uh, then we're going to head to New York, New York now. Oh, we fell over, so look where I'm going. Uh, a little bit of time in there. Before we're heading back over the road to MGM. Park MGM was actually really busy tonight, just now. It's, mm. It was had quite a good atmosphere as well, which I don't often say. Uh, and it was really nice because it's smoke free. It was, it, it, was a, it was really nice. But I'm pretty sure someone is smoking in there, but I'm sure they won't last. Yeah, I think it's still, still a bit there. It's one of the few things I remember from the first trip I had here for my brother's stag do. God, I love the themes. So many non-themed build it hotels going up now. And it's kind of Vegas, it's about themes. Although I think this Moon Resort one should hopefully bring them back. <laughs> 